people used to ask me very strange questions and everybody looking about the situation in Syria from his perspective but nobody think about our situation very well and why we did something if we did it and why we came for example to Turkey for example Turkish people all the time thinking that we are escaped from the war they are thinking that we should be heroes we should be stay in Syria to protect our country and they used to give us samples from their history about their grandfathers how they was fighting to protect their land and how many people are dead in order to save Turkey and they said you should be heroes you should not escape from Syria people just talking and uh, looking at the situation as I said from their perspective nobody knows why people are came to here nobody knows that the regime attacking us by the rockets he throwing scud rockets from Damascus to Aleppo when this scud rocket exploding can destroy more a big street can kill more than 400 person within seconds nobody understand that we cannot do anything against the plans when they are throwing the barrel bom bombs above us nobody understand what can what can we do against the chemical weapons which used by the regime nobody understand even what we can do against the gases like sarin gas or another uh, poisonous gases which used by the regime against people and how many people are killed in this way what what we can do against the regime we have a very how can i say we have very simple weapons and actually we cannot do anything with these weapons it's we can say it it's individual individual weapons just to protect yourself maybe your family against another groups of fighters not against the plans not against even the rockets because of that i need just to let all of the people understanding that we are not came to istanbul we are not escaped to europe countries to western countries to any place because we want to make a trip or because we want to have a fun nobody need to leave his house nobody need to leave his memories nobody need to leave his country all of the people suffering too much don't think that people when they are going to uk or to germany or to any other western country they are going there because they are need to go there we are forced forced to go there people just trying to be alive people who cannot find who cannot fight who cannot use the weapons people who lost their houses who lost their kids what can they do if they will stay in syria okay you can stay to waiting the next rocket maybe the first one killed your friends oh the second one maybe will kill you so staying there is just to counting dying people to counting counting the bombs and the rockets all the time to suffering all the time from afraid from nightmares to just listening to the screams of the kids all the time people just are trying to stay alive trying to protect their families trying to protect their kids when they came to turkey for example there is millions of syrian here in turkey the turkish government are trying to help syrian in a very good i'm i'm really we should say thank you for the turkish people but at the same time they are suffered too, too much from the, our situation because millions of million of syrian came to here uh, there is a big inflammation happened after of the Syrian came to here renting houses before for example we can rent it renting one house with for example 200 Turkish lira now it's more 1500 Turkish lira for a very normal normal and simple house it's even difficult for the simple people in, in Istanbul or in Turkey Syrian people in order to stay alive in order to feed their children they accept to work in a very simple work with a very simple salaries so for the Turkish people it's very difficult the owners of the industries or of the, of the companies the businessmen preferred to work with people who hard workers people with the less salary which affected even the Turkish normal Turkish people but in the same time people who leave their countries they came to here with their clothes 
without anything, just their clothes. They has no money. They should, when they want to rent any house, they should pay for renting house, for deposit, and for the office, and they should buy the furniture for the houses, which mean a lot, a very big number of money for them because there is a difference between you know between the Tur Syrian money and the Turkish money. For us, one thousand Turkish lira it's meaning one hundred thousand Syrian lira, which can help us to stay alive for more than five months. You just pay it as a part of the renting. So we can say we started under of the zero, not from the zero. Starting from the zero maybe is easy, but we are starting from under of the zero. We came to here, for example, with our kids, with our families, and we cannot renting house alone because in every family we need more than three person to work in order to pay the uh, uh, expenses of the house, of the food, of the electric, of the water. So because we are Syrian, because we don't know Turkish language, and because everybody cannot work in his field, we forced to work in some things we haven't worked before. And we are getting a very less salary, very low salary. With this very, very low salary, we cannot even pay the renting of the house. So we need to stay more than one family in one house, which making a very big problems, very big stress for the families and made the problems with the neighborhood because they are looking, there is many people staying in the same flat. There is a lot of kids are shouting all the time and it's very difficult even for anybody to stay in, in one house with, with all of these people but we have no, no choices we need to stay together in order to pay the renting in order to find two or three person from the other families to work together to get some money in order to, to rent the house and to pay all of these expenses so because of that if you have some money actually we'll pay it in the first month paying it in the way to come to Istanbul or to come to the another city, paying it to the deposit, to the renting. And even as a stranger, there is a lot of people trying to get more money from you. When people understand that you are a stranger, they're asking you to pay everything two times more because you don't know anything, you don't know the language and you think it's the price. Even if you go to ask in many places, there's a lot of people understand that you are strange and need to make money from you. People don't care about your situation and don't care about even what you are suffering from. There is a lot of good people trying to help and there is a lot of people in the same time don't care about you and just trying to make money from you. Because of that, people after staying for a period of time here, after losing all of their money, they will come to the time that they will never complete. Because of that, they are deciding to go to Europe countries because in Europe countries at least they are supporting them with the houses because the most important thing is renting house it's so expensive thing so if there is any way to support people who are living in Turkey uh, in, in renting their houses so feeding themselves is easier than get paying for the renting houses the most important thing for people when they are going to Europe countries is that they gave them houses and help them at the first time to understand till work out what's going on till learn the language and they are teaching the language for them to make them to make them understand the society and understand the culture of the country which they are going to end to it but here it's not like that people come into here they don't know the language and they, they need to work as soon as possible Otherwise, they will they they cannot feed the, their kids. Nobody caring about their education and nobody teaching them Turkish language. Because of that, it's very difficult. I'm not I'm not saying that it's the Turkish government's mistake. Because actually, they are doing their best, and we are seeing what they are what they are doing in the border, and how many people they are trying to help. It's really very difficult for, to them to help all this huge number of people. I think the Western countries. The Europe countries should do their rules to help these, these people in order even to decrease this problem of uh, refugees which all of the people to try to go to the Western countries because we cannot stay alive here. It's very difficult to us. If you help us to complete our life here, we'll stay here. 
if you stop the war in Syria, if you stop supporting al-Assad, everybody wants to go back to his house. If you ask the Syrian now, even who are in the Europe countries, what's your dream? He will say, I, I'm dreaming about go back to my home. Nobody likes to leave his house. Nobody likes to leave his, all of his memories, uh, all of things that he uh, left with his childhood, with his friend. Nobody need to leave all, everything behind him and going to a new country, especially people. I'm not talking about young people. I'm talking about women, about even old people. It's very difficult for them. Maybe young people can can do with anything, can deal with any new situation, uh, can learn the language in a very easy way. How about the people? How about our mothers, our fathers? Really, it's very difficult for them to accept the new culture, the new societies. It's very difficult for them. For them, day and the night, they are thinking and dreaming about going back to their house. And everybody, I, I'll see, for example, my father, we, my father's bakery, and um, we have like a big industry to make bread in a fast way. We had a good situation in Syria. He has his own car, he has his own good situation. We, was, we wasn't need any help from anybody. And now we came to here are waiting our small brother to go to work in a, for more than 14 hours to get very less salary, salary to use this money to feed our family it's very bad situation all the time my father my mother just waiting to go back to Syria even for a period of time they decided to go back whatever happening for them they don't care they need to go back but after that, our country, our village are controlled by ISIS and ISIS now living in our houses. So now we lost everything. We cannot go because we lost our bakery, we lost our house, we lost everything. Even the money we brought it to here, we lost it. We paid everything, all of our money. Because of that, really, I think more than 50 countries in the Europe, uh, European Union had at least uh, I think 130,000 refugees from Syria I mean and there is another thing it's very important there is a lot of people from Egypt from Iraq from Africa and from another countries came and are trying to go to Europe countries as a Syrian people they are with, with no papers with no thing we are Syrian and unfortunately people accepting them as a Syrian refugees but this is not the fact everybody trying to use the war for his benefits big countries like America like Russia they are focusing about selling weapons and people from another countries trying to use our problem to be as refugees there and other people just caring about their money about their trade about selling everything for the Syrian about making money from Syrian people about make Syrian people working for a long times with a very less low salary so instead of using our problem at this bad way instead of using us in this way stopping the war will end all of this drama stopping the war in Syria, stopping supporting al-Assad will stop all of this drama even we don't believe that there is how can I say, there is some uh, we don't believe that they need to finish uh, to end ISIS too they are still attacking ISIS for more than one year till now they are attacking ISIS and ISIS controlling more places and controlling more and more and more just yesterday ISIS controlled more than 10 villages in the north of Aleppo and very huge military school in north of Aleppo. How can I understand this? The Russian plans was attacking the, uh, the Free Syrian Army and the regime was covering the regime by the plans but when, when they was attacking the Free Syrian Army. In the same time the regime was throwing the bombs in the Free Syrian Army in the same time the ISIS was attacking the Free Syrian army. You cannot say 
and I cannot believe that they are attacking ISIS because they are walking together and we are seeing everything in the field. Actually, the same thing we saw it in the in the Iraq. There is a, a, a very big way connecting Al Raqqa with Al Mosul from Iraq. This road used by ISIS to send fighters and to send weapons from Mosul to Iraq.